This video outlines the importance of work health and safety at work. It brings awareness of the health and safety obligations workers are entitled to while at work. What is work health and safety or WHS? Work is the place where you work. Examples of this are fishing from land or vessel, any place you go while you are working. Health is a person's mental or physical condition. A lot of people think that health is only physical, meaning if you break your arm, get a burn or scratch. But health also includes mental health, stress, feeling sick, working too long and feeling not right, or being under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Safety means being protected from danger and the risk of being injured. Work health and safety helps us prevent bad things from happening. For example, running out of fuel or motor oil, dehydration, getting caught in dangerous weather, the boat falling off the trailer, or not being able to fix a flat tire. Why do we need to know about work health and safety? As workers, we have to follow work health and safety rules and regulations to work safely and minimize risk. It is a duty of care which is a legal responsibility of employers and workers as defined in the Work Health and Safety Act 2012. It is important to have your own WHS procedures. This is to protect workers and other persons from harm, make workplaces safer, minimise injuries and sicknesses, and it is a legal responsibility. The law requires workers to act responsibly, follow the safety rules and follow the employer's directions. This means not creating unnecessary risks or making things dangerous to you or others. It is your responsibility to take reasonable care to protect the health and safety of yourself and others. This involves working in a safe manner that will not endanger yourself or others, following all safety instructions, policies and procedures, using personal protective equipment, PPE, provided for safety or health reasons, for example, gloves and glasses, and reporting any hazards with machinery, tools or the workplace to your supervisor. A safe workplace relies on both the employer and the employee taking their duty of care seriously. You need to know who is responsible for health and safety in your workplace. This can be your supervisor, coordinator or team leader. You must understand and follow all workplace procedures and instructions. To minimise work health and safety risks as a worker, you have to do the following. Participate in all WHS training sessions. Always wear the correct PPE, e.g. long pants, long sleeves, gloves, and if working on a vessel, wear a life jacket. Make sure that all equipment and machinery are in a safe working order, and you know how to operate them safely. Follow workplace procedures from your employer and the fishing mentors. Keep a lookout for other people. Know where the emergency kits, such as first aid kit, sat phone or radio are stored. Most importantly, you need to know what to do in case of an emergency. For example, you have cut your hand with a knife. You know where the first aid kit is located and where to go for more help, like the local clinic. Staying safe at work means understanding the hazards. A hazard is anything that could harm the health and safety of a person. Every workplace has hazards. Identifying hazards in the workplace involves finding things or situations that could potentially cause harm to people. In the seafood industry, some of these hazards are working with wet or slippery tools, working on a slippery deck in rough seas, using powered equipment, using heavy lifting equipment, using sharp knives, contaminated food or work surfaces, working with hazardous chemicals such as fuel, oil and detergent working in very hot and very cold temperatures. To minimise the hazards in the workplace using a risk control plan. Risk control is a proactive method that helps you respond to change and work safely. First, you have to spot the hazard. Everybody in the workplace is responsible for spotting hazards and making sure they do not cause an injury. Then you need to assess the risk. How likely is it that someone will get injured? How can it be fixed? Then, fix the problem. Lastly, evaluate results. Has the hazard been removed or are more actions needed to make it safe? Following this four-step approach, 
will help minimise workplace injuries. Can you spot the hazard? Unsecured ropes are a hazard, increasing the risk of trips, falls and injure to those working in the area. Ropes should be neatly bundled and placed where it is not a tripping hazard. Always ensure your rope is in good working condition, with no cuts, wear and free of things that could cut or injure you, such as hooks that can get caught in the rope. Always wear the appropriate PPE when working with knives. It's also important to use knives in a safe way to minimise the chances of injuring yourself and those around you. This includes always cutting away from your body, working in a smooth and controlled way, and safely storing knives in a holder when not in use. Identifying hazards is important. Think about the work activity, then think about potential hazards and what you can do to prevent something bad from happening. Working safely is everyone's business. It's law. Work health and safety is from federal law and each workplace has their own policies. Who is the most important person in the workplace? You are. Not your boss, not the other workers. You are the most important person. Who has to report hazards? You do. If you recognise a hazard in the workplace, you must report it. If you notice a hazard and don't report it to your supervisor, then you can be in trouble. Working safely is everyone's responsibility. It's the law. If you recognise a hazard in the workplace, report and remove it so you and your workmates go home safely.